Hi, you guys. Uh, my hair is really something else today, but this is what we've got for our Let's Chat video where I kind of just update you on things going on in my life, things going on with the channel. Um, and this Let's Chat video is about what all has been happening in November. Um, so first things first, as always, I want to give a shout out to all of my Hemsiders. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. Um, new Hemsider this month, Liz, welcome. If you're not sure what a Hemsider is or what this is all about, I have a Patreon and, uh, the Hemsiders are members of my Patreon. So I have a lot of really fun things planned for 2021. For the Patreons, we're going to be doing live chats. We have behind the scenes. We're going to do polls. Um, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff going on there. So I encourage you, if you'd like to check out the description box, there's a link there for where you can head over to my Patreon page, learn all about how to become a Hemsider yourself. Um, so updates, I wanted to give you guys an update on the puppy situation since I sort of broke the news last month. I figure you guys are probably pretty curious. We do not have a puppy. We do not have a puppy on the way. <laughs> we have gotten nowhere with the puppy situation. We are still looking. Um, both Dan and I are allergic to dogs. So we have a very specific need slash want with the dog. Um, you know, Sunny was a Maltese, hypoallergenic. All of Dan's dogs have always been hypoallergenic also. So we really need to focus on, you know, our health as we bring in um, a puppy to our home. So we're trying to find a hypoallergenic dog during a pandemic. Um, so we are in no rush, no hurry. We know that um, he or she will come to us in due time. So I will continue to keep you guys updated. Um, next up, I wanted to remind you guys about a couple things going on on the channel. First of all, the holiday gift guide is out. Um, there's a video you guys can watch. I also have a um, IGTV or maybe it's a reel. I can't remember. There's so many new features on Instagram. I could do a whole video about how just overwhelming it becomes when they just release all this new stuff. Um, one of those places I have, you know, a quick little rundown of all of the gifts in my 2020 holiday gift guide. A lot of them are doing promotions through the end of the month. Um, if that's the case, I will leave in the description box who it is and what the discount is. A lot of them I have coupon codes with, so you can get a discount anytime you want, um, regardless of whether they have one or not. So I'll leave that stuff in the description box for you. I'm also uh, starting, you might have already seen my holiday gift DIY extravaganza. I got this crazy idea that I would do a new tutorial. Well, I would post about a DIY tutorial for a gift on social media starting Black Friday and running through Christmas Eve. I thought, well, that's a really cool, fun idea. Um, so a lot of my DIYs are super quick and easy. Um, but the problem is I don't have that many DIYs. So I had to come up with like a dozen <laughs> new ones, which have been a lot of fun. I've loved coming up with them. I've loved, you know, doing prototypes. They don't all always work. Um, so that's been really fun. So uh, I think I had a couple of them go live uh, this past week. Uh, new tutorials and then on social media I am sharing old ones and then obviously promoting the new ones whenever they come out. So the uh, if you need a gift and you want to make it I encourage you to follow me on social media so that you can see all the things that you can make from my tutorials. Um, the next thing I want to mention this is a follow-up to my I kind of alluded in my makes video that I was going to be on television. And it's true. I am going to be on It's So Easy. You guys might be familiar with that. It airs on PBS. Angela Wolf is a big participant. Goodbye Valentino has done some stuff in the past. So I am traveling with caution um, to Cleveland um, 
what will be tomorrow for you guys um, to go film. And I will do an entire behind the scenes. I will do a whole vlog like I always do anytime I travel for anything sewing related. Um, I will have a lot of information for you guys there. But it's going to be two segments. Um, kind of centered around thread and talking about like we don't really talk about brands while you're there you don't mention specific brands but I'm going to be using some Coates and Clark stuff um to illustrate a couple of different um sewing techniques uh, seam finishes and how to alter teardrop pockets to be in waistband pockets um, I've done a tutorial about that here on the channel and they really liked it and wanted me to do it for the TV show. So I'll be doing that as well. So I am super, super excited. Uh, this is definitely tapping into, you know, my, what I went to college for. It's kind of funny because like I went to university to be on TV and then never did obviously. And so now here we are coming full circle and I'm going to have my TV moment but in a way that I never would have imagined. Like if you would have told me when I was in college that I was gonna be on a TV show demonstrating sewing techniques, I'd have been like, seriously, no. Um, but here I am. So uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Stay tuned for those videos. Uh, you can follow me on social media. I'm sure I'm gonna be doing some like stories and stuff like that from there. So I did want to just fill you guys in, kind of give you a little bit more details. Um, your girl's gonna be on TV. It's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're at the what I bought section and I'm filming this after Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, all of that. Um, so I didn't go like totally out of control, but I did do a lot more shopping than I normally would. First of all, Stylemaker Fabrics had a 20% off sale. They never have sales, you guys, ever. Um, so I got a few things from them that I have wanted, a few staples, a few of uh, their kind of like basic type stuff that I know is just good quality. I know I'm going to really, really love. And then I found two new fabric stores that I'm trying out. One is called Sincerely Riley. Have you guys ever heard of them before? She has some really quite interesting fabrics, um, things that I feel like you don't see everywhere. I mean, obviously she has a double brush poly like everybody on the unit on the planet has. Um, but she's got some really interesting fashion stuff there too. So, um, I just grabbed a little bit from her just to kind of see what the experience was like. One downside I did find was that the shipping is like out of control. It's, um, she just uses the USPS medium, like all you can fit ships for everything. So if you order just a little bit, you're way over paying for shipping. Uh, from what I understand, you can message her on Facebook and give her your order number and she'll tell you how much more you can fit in your box. But then it's like you're having to buy more things just to offset the shipping and that just feels weird to me. Um, so I went ahead with the purchase because I, it's something I have been looking for. It's like a tie dye waffle knit. Um, I want to do another set of um, long johns and I think tie dye would be really cute. It's very on trend, like all the little Instagram influencers, they're all wearing theirs. Um, so I want to do that, but improve the waistband. If you remember from that video, the waistband has proven to be an issue keeping the pants up. So I want to get like an actual like waistband, you know, rib knit and all that kind of stuff. Um, the other new fabric store to me is called Threads and Bobbins. So I just saw her thing on Instagram, how she's having a sale and I shared it with all my followers, went and checked it out. Super cute. She's like, a um, is she British or Australian living in Alabama? So she has like the cutest little like mashup of, um, accents and I grabbed some, also tie-dye but hers is rib knit i guess i was in like a tie-dye kick on friday i don't know um so that is on its way as well i got two new patterns i got the helen's closet york pinafore which i actually plan on making this month i'm really excited about it you guys saw the first impression video and raved about the york pinafore i mean i knew it was cute i didn't realize it was like that good um so you guys have talked me into it and i got that on sale 
And then French Navy, who I did the first impression for this past week. You guys know I love the morning side top and dress. So I got that as well. For rapid fire, okay, we're gonna do what I'm watching, what I'm reading, my latest obsession, and something new I'm trying. What I'm watching probably won't come as a surprise because I feel like everybody and their mother is watching The Queen's Gambit. I so, passed over this so many times on, on Netflix. I don't know if it was like the cover image. Something was like, oh, no, I'm not going to be into that. But as soon as I watched the trailer, I, I mean, I pretty much straight binge watched the whole thing um, over the course of two, maybe three days. Um, it's really so good. And the actress that plays the main character is beyond. I was so impressed with her work. She, the character goes through quite a journey and she just continued to, she was so good. So, so good. And yes, it's about chess. So people that like chess are going to like it, but it's not so much about chess that you're like, I don't get it. Um, it's, it's, there are so many, so many great themes in the show. I will actually watch it again. That's how good it was. I loved it. Um, what I'm reading. So I'm finishing up the book of two ways. Um, I will have a new book in December. The book of two ways is Jodi Pico, Picoult's, does anybody know how to say that? New book. Um, and I have like an hour left because I listen on audible and not actually read and uh, I'm having a hard time with it because the concept of the story is really good. The Book of Two Ways is actually like a real thing developed by Egyptologists, well not developed, but discovered by Egyptologists where um, Egyptians, uh, whenever they would go to bury someone in the coffin where the mummy is placed on the bottom of the coffin or the side of it, there would be like this kind of like map that indicated, you know, two different paths. And when you die, it's like a map for when you pass on, it's a map to show you where to go. So many interesting concepts from Egyptology that you learn about in this book, but she tries to relate that to this journey that this woman is going on between her husband and a former lover. And I think that you're supposed to feel empathy for this woman but I am having a real tough time not wanting to have a little sit down with her and tell her she needs to get it together. <laughs> I feel like she is just, maybe there's a big twist at the end that I'm just missing. I don't know, but I feel like I don't like her very much. And that if she were my friend, I would tell her she's royally screwed up and she made choices and she's got to live with those choices now, but she's not doing that. Like, and it's annoying. <laughs> I know that's not the best like book review you've ever heard but I will say that the, all the stuff about Egyptology has been really great the storyline is okay I just I don't like this girl maybe you're not supposed to like her I don't know but that's what I'm reading I don't know what's gonna be next like, it's gonna be a big surprise for you guys in December I guess um, my latest obsession, okay, so if you guys follow me on social media, you know, I went down my annual rabbit hole uh, with pecan pie. So I love pecan pie, like love it. So much so that I don't really let myself eat it throughout the year. I tell myself, if you don't have pecan pie all year long, then the week of Thanksgiving, you can have a whole pie. <laughs> First of all, they're easy to find. They're like in season. Um, when you get them in like March, it's, the, it's just not as good. You know what I mean? Um, something about the weather and the energy in the air. I don't know what it is. So I got my pecan pie. I always get them from Whole Foods. One, because they're always the same no matter where I live or like if I'm traveling, they're always the same. And two, like, I don't know. I convinced myself that Whole Foods pecan pies are like healthier they're definitely not <laughs> in my mind. I'm like, I wonder what organic corn syrup they found. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I got my pecan pie the Tuesday before Thanksgiving and I finished it up the Sunday after Thanksgiving and it was worth it. Every morsel was delicious. I loved it. And now I won't have pecan pie for another 360-ish dates. 
yeah okay so that's <laughs> that's my pecan pie story and it, it's really funny because the next bit is what I'm trying and it is the complete opposite of eating an entire pecan pie by yourself and that is I'm trying all these new health food products to try and help heal my gut so it sounds kind of gross and I guess technically it is but if you've never heard of it before I have something called leaky gut it is exactly what it sounds like your intestines are sick and so they leak and that stuff goes into your body and it was causing infections um, I got two kidney infections two weekends in a row and the doctor was just like yeah that is not normal um and so he was obviously recommending that i go to like a urinologist urologist i always try and add an extra syllable to that word um and get all this work done and i was like you know what like let me try this one last thing if i get another one within six months like i'll take your advice but like let me let me work on this on my own i had a feeling it was my gut from a whole bunch of other symptoms that I had had. So I found this new soda. They call it a soda. It's really like tonic water. Um, it's called Olipop and they have these flavors, uh, strawberry vanilla, cherry vanilla, vintage Coke, root beer, ginger lemon. And you guys, it's a prebiotic. It has all of this like root bark extract and like all these other crazy ingredients in it it's like the benefits of kombucha without the alcohol like I don't like kombucha because I don't like the way it makes me feel like I don't drink normally alcohol normally so having a kombucha it doesn't make me drunk but it I don't know I just don't like it so I have been trying to find something that was a good substitute for kombucha and this is it so it's delicious it tastes amazing it's like it has the bubbles but it's not super bubbly at all which I prefer um, and I can really tell a difference and Dan has the exact opposite problem than me with his gut um, he has like an IBS type situation and so I let him have some and after the very first one his whole thing changed um, it was kind of miraculous. So he's on it now. He's got some and we're both just drinking one a day. So I think it's great. I think it's delicious. If it has some health benefits too, even better. The only downside is it's kind of expensive. Um, it comes to like $2.50 each, which is comparable to kombucha. And if it does heal and help, I would pay $5 a can for it. Don't tell them that though. Um, I've linked it. You guys can check it out. The flavors are really, really good and it's good for you. If you get it though, just tell your husbands and your children, this is not regular soda. Otherwise they will drink themselves $10 worth of soda in like a day. Um, so really good. If I find anything else that I really, really love, um, that's like for all of that, I will let you know. I'm trying a new like microbiome booster, but I want to give that like a lot more time before I tell you guys about it. The Olipop though, two thumbs up, four thumbs up from me and Dan. Um, okay, so now what to expect in December. Obviously I talked about the handmade gift tutorials. You're gonna continue to see those through the entire month of December. And then I've also got um, a whole bunch of new and interesting products that are either new to market or new to me. Um, and hopefully new to you guys too. So I'm excited to test some of that stuff out. Um, you might see some sponsored videos pop up this month um, for those things, but um, they seem really promising and really interesting and really cool. So I'm excited to share them with you. So be on the lookout for new and interesting things, which is like what I hope you come here for anyways. But that is going to do it for me today, you guys. Thanks for chatting with me. If you would like to, in the comments section, you can do the rapid fire. We try and do this every month. A few of you do it. It's always so fun for me to see. But it's what you're watching, what you're reading, what you're obsessed with, and something new you're trying. Or any combination of those four things. Or your own rapid fire. Let's just make it more of a conversation. Leave some things in the comments for me to read and comment back on. <laughs> um, but thank you all again so much for watching. I will see you all very soon.
Bye.